everybody. We're back in the house. Yes. Everybody, welcome back to the live stream. How is everybody doing? Are you guys doing well? Is everybody doing well? Yes. It is so great to be here. Um, yeah, everybody. Happy, happy Sunday to all of you. Um, I hope you guys have had a nice weekend as always um yes you know I, I decided we should come back streaming now that we've got the Andronov and 225 this is my second stream with this plane um the first one kind of worked uh, well enough i think um so that was fine nothing to be worried about i do accept if you become a mem member okay thank you then i guess cool uh that was it's a bit random because like i haven't even done a single thing and you've only i mean that's like five Five dollars donation, isn't it? Yeah, something like that. We'll come to the member squad for whatever uh, reason. Yes, everybody, the Antonov Anton 25. Um, we have flown this before, um, and it's now time to really get it started. And in today's stream, we are, I think, at Corsica, isn't it? Corsica, everybody here. Bonjour, bienvenue de de l'île France de Corse. Is it? Is it? Is it even French of an island? I don't really know. Everything is fine, but everybody today, I thought we should really get down to the professional no uh, notch. So something you guys told me is to change the iPad from uh, that th th we can change the door movement. See, something we struggled with earlier was that the door movement, you know, the the nose door here, the cargo door, you know, opens very slowly, takes around 10 minutes for it to fully open. And so there's a fast mode and I've just discovered it. Uh, thanks to you guys. So that's something we will utilize now. It is time <laughs> Put the door open. Here we go. Cabin door. Get all those doors open. Yes This is totally fine. Maybe get some GPU in here and here we go. Maybe we can see. Yes, the door is opening It's opening very very quickly and you guys already don't wait. Hold on. Why is everybody doing any money? Don't stop. No, generally stop. I do doing Goja. Uh, welcome. Welcome to the member uh, the donations squad guys, please. It's fine now, all right? Ah! Yorick! Yeah, welcome back, Yorick. How you doing, man? I hope, I hope you're doing very well. You can gift memberships now? What the hell is that? I mean, thank you. Thank you very much. You guys... No, I'm honestly now... Ah! This is not a donation stream! We are five dollars. Zeno, welcome back! Taken off, taken off, taken off, taken off, taken off. Also, do a vaccine. I just did a flight. Oh, there. that's a Went good idea. We well. Should... We should probably do that. I want to like a long stream with a York proper Burnison professional flight. Yorick Burnison 086. I know, Yorick. Yorick Kissimo donated $5. Good, good evening, Happy man. Happy Sunday to you all. Sorry, can't stay. Have to work on my house. Have a fun stream and please butter your landings. Here's Yorick. your channel. You know, you guys don't, if you guys aren't familiar with Yorick, he's this guy who always donates. Like every single stream is here. And he donates and then he, like, he uh, is there at the start of the stream, but then always goes after two minutes because he has to work. So Yorick, you're the busiest guy I've ever seen, which is a good thing, I guess, because you're so so pr pr productive. Um, <clears throat> talking about productive, let's talk. Let's turn on this plane. I think I've got a bit of a cold or something, because like my voice is getting a bit weak. I'm trying. Okay, so you guys, is there a way to even kneel this plane? Because like, okay, this is the fast door animation thing, okay? But it does. It won't kneel. Is that even possible to do? Can anyone please, please? Uh. Is there any way to open the ramp? I saw you can open the ramp. Uh, hmm. Ha. Huh. Can anyone please give me information on how to get this ramp open? Honestly, because I really want to see this now. Because we haven't used this plane properly before. I mean, we can... For, by the way, can you tell, tell how the FPS isn't, like, incredibly poor? Like, it's only, like, pretty much poor? Um... So, it's like not that bad, so... Oh. Ah! Is it kneeling? It's kneeling! So wait, there's just... You just have to wait for it to kneel to... Ah, oh, it's moving! Look, can you check this out? Look! Yeah! Hey guys, fun dog! Welcome back! How you doing, man? Thank you, Christo, and thank you, Not Sprite. You guys... Yes, this plane is actually kneeling. <laughs> it just takes way too long. <laughs> All right, guys, I didn't know that. How could I be so stupid? There's a button. No, okay. All right. Okay. 
finally all right this is the fast mode yeah, again normally with the with the realistic mode in real life you would have to wait like 10 minutes and it's the funny thing is that it, like the cockpit is like broken how do i get the door to come back up i have to literally teleport myself back into the cockpit here okay so let's see can we load the cargo here to see how that looks like cargo bay lights turn on the lights here yes check this out that is that is really cool look i mean that's isn't that like like we've never seen that before so that's great so um load cargo aha no wait it's not even done just yet check this out we can literally like this is one of those planes that you can just drive into which is really cool hello tanner how are you doing check this out We've got an Antonov and it's working. Okay, then that's maybe now time. Oh, uh, come on uh, We should probably get Try to kneel this plane back up while we're at it because it's gonna take a few minutes here Okay, so and we can turn on this plane already. We can start with that Let's turn on the batteries and all that stuff. We can get ready for engine start turn on all the five batteries, you know um, on Thursday last stream I kind of got the hang of how to turn this plane on um, Thanks to you guys. Thank you. Thanks for your help um, so that's possible to do now. Here we go. Just turn on all the fuel pumps. I think that's something you might want to consider doing. <clears throat> I'm not really an expert here. I don't usually use checklists. I don't use anything that you should probably use. So that's fine. So the APU panel right here is there. You turn on the APU here. Um, not only APU, but APUs. Because we've got two! <coughs> <coughs> I've never seen a plane before that has two APUs. Isn't that crazy? All right, do you even lift, bro? I'm the biggest bird. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, God, no. oh that, is, that was very loud. Not I'm sorry. Not donated $5. I don't matter. What you drinking there, Mr. Dot Swiss? Represent the water bottle brand. It's a German brand called Veslauer. Uh, I don't think that's very important information, is it? Great. So, come on. Things are looking absolutely fine. Yes. Why, why would you ask that not Sprite? Were you hoping I, I was drinking Sprite? Like, what was, it, what was this about? Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Looking good. Um, APUs are started up. They are actually starting up. That's fun. We've got literally everything we need. So let's turn the APU bleeds here, bleed air. That's what we need as well. Um, and let's turn on the safety guards. I think this is absolutely fun. I don't Tanner. Uh, it's Zeno. It's Zeno. Zeno. Zeno donated two dollars. Another <clears throat> suggestion to DCS World on his stream. Oh, that's probably might be just a good idea as well. DCS World, and I think you know what? What could be another an idea? A good one. Uh, what well, I'm having a stroke is turning on the engines now. I mean, now I know that no nose is still there, it's still there. It's not really ready to start, but it's fine. So let's come on, let's go on to turn on the ready engine one select and just hope this works. I remember you have to like, yep, yeah, there we go. In order to, to get this launch going, we have to uh, we have to hold this little button right here. <laughs> oh, oh, Sprite, thank you, not thank Sprite you for your donation, but you're loud. Just messing with you, bro, lols. Ah, uh, th thank you, bro. Nothing to worry about, man. All right. So, everybody, one of the four, six engines is already turning on. We've got spinach in the engines. Isn't that great? Yes. Give this a look. Chris. Okay, that's a good question. Chris it's a very easy question to answer years. because it's Man, literally here. Is open the ramp? It's literally here. So, this is something... Ah! LA Aviation, welcome back. Uh -oh. LA Aviation, donated CRC 2500. Hello, I'm back. Love you. 911, 911, 911. Okay, so that's something I figured out. So you have to um, set this, this little realism knob here. Nose door movement speed. The thing about the Antonov Antonov 25 is the nose movement speed that's very slow. Whatever, and we have to turn on the, the to fast. And all you have to do is just um, go to uh, ground and just close or open the door with a switch and this, you have to wait like 10 minutes um which is like it is in real life so ahem, enough of talk <coughs> enough of messing around already uh, engine number two we can can we start up all the engines at the same time 
What, what would what would that what would happen? Ah, uh, okay, no, no, it's denying it. Okay, well that's fine. Let's turn into number two. Come on. Shut up. Into number two. Come on. I'm holding the knob. I look. It should work. Uh. Yes. There we go. Launch is in progress right here. We've got uh, engine number. I think that's six that will be coming on then. Which engine is moving? Which is which is starting to work? So we've got this one. I. I don't know. Why is it turning on? You stupid. All right. Why are, why is engine number six and number one? Or, well, you know what? I'm not going to ask any questions at this point. This plane is a bit weird. So things are looking great. Let's turn on engine number three. This should work very, very... This is a very efficient flight. You know, I haven't started up the Antonov Antoine 25 in such a short time. I don't say no once, once again. How are you always here, by the way, bro? Zeno donated $2. You're always here. You went paragliding. Now do skydiving. Oh, that's probably a good idea as well. I, I really want to do that. Think about this, the, the, like the, the thing about, you know, the, the paragliding thing and the, the, the skydiving thing is that they're very expensive things to do. And for example, with the paragliding video, uh, which was a very fun video, I think it's a very watchable video, very nice video, but it didn't have any, like it doesn't have views at all. Um, it's just probably that people don't really care for paragliding on this channel because I'm not a paragliding channel. Right, it's kind of like Gordon Ramsay um, complaining about his new episode on shoes not doing very well. Right? Well, that was a was that a good analogy, good example? I, I'm not quite sure, but uh, it's not really my cup of tea normally on the channel, so no one really watched it. But it was my like my worst performing video in in, in like ten years. That, never mind, that was an exaggeration. I don't really don't know, man. <laughs> hey, I'm doing Jason Vine. Hi, welcome back. How's it, how's it going, man? Jason Vine donated two pounds. Hi, Swiss. I'm back. Seven, 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 we haven't moved. <coughs> OMG. We haven't moved Seven a single Seven rocket donated ten dollars. Smiley face. Rock. Smiley face. Thank you very much. Uh, stop donating mm, so much. All right. Honestly, because this is a this is a stream of culture. This is a a stream of. It's not about fun. This is about properly flying the an Antonin twenty five. What am I saying? Mm -hmm. Right. So. Let's get this going. Engine number five. Okay, actually all these engines are looking like they're already on. And we're right now on the verge of turning on them to number four. So it's looking right nice. Right nice. Ah. Good. Oh, the Elliot camera's donated dead. three dollars. The camera's broken. Can you the most northern airport in Europe? Uh which one would that be? Probably. Well, it would be Finland, um, the most nor northernmost, um, northernmost airport. But you know, that's totally, that's totally interesting now. <laughs> ah, Tanner! That was loud. Sprite Aviation donated doing, five dollars. No, okay. I'ma be loud with this dono. Sorry, not gonna I'm... lie, but I have a feeling this won't oh. be professional. Butter that's every fine. landing with a thick enough, or it's not professional. No, we will be. YouTube super chat is being stupid, <laughs> so I'm donated with Streamlabs. Yeah, I see. Everything's fine, man. No, 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 no. You guys, you need to be a little bit more trustful in my flying capabilities. I know, I know. We're about to take off with this Antonov, and we haven't turned off the APU. We're not going to do that because we've got so much fuel. Who really cares? Who, who is really going to notice? You know. I mean, I'm not. I'm not paying the thing. <laughs> I don't know. You, 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 you're spending way too much. Just shut Zeno up. Zeno donated two dollars. Swiss, your camera keeps dying. Come on, lol. Yeah, I need to get a new camera. I, I got like the stupid Nikon. Uh, the Emir Gasset okay. donated two euros and go. forty-nine cents. How you doing, man? Guys, where do you stop donating out? Because it's time for flying. Hello, Lisa. We're doing well now. So, let's 
get onto this runway. We're running, running three six here on the island of Kos. Act or actually, the thing is, the FPS it really is not that bad this time around. Like we, we guys remember when I was flying in London, which is in the middle of the city, so that kind of drains FPS. But geez, it's it's looking a whole lot better than before, isn't it? Isn't this great? So that's a good taxiway. That's a that look at that. Um, are we are we staying to this promise of professionalism? No, like we're not sticking to it at least. So let's take off. Uh, we've got not long of a runway, which is a bit worrying. But who gives a damn? I don't. So let's come on. Let's take off. Full power. Full power. Togo. <clears throat> what we're at? Let's maybe have a bit of a sip of drink. <laughs> Not right, right. donate. All right, come on, here we go. Full power Swiss Toga. Hates when we give him our hard earned money, I mean, <laughs> it's not like he can disable it or anything, lol. I mean, I'm, you know, I don't have anything against it. No, I mean, yeah, this is a big, a big lump of support uh, that you guys are giving to me. It's, it's really great. Um, right now, it's. I'm not saying times are tough, but it's, uh, it's a nice little, little support to, to keep doing what I'm doing, especially. Because I've got a few more projects planned that need funding. And, you know, for example, the Caribbean vlogs that you guys might have seen were a financial disaster. I know I did fly the whole business class to review it, which was very wasteful. Um, but, you know, I got to I gotta fund my next trip. So this is going to be great. I had to... You guys... Oh, my God. Stop. Do I, genuinely stop it. FSX Air Pilot I donated $3. Swiss O one. Love what you do. You've made me want to fly sim again. Thank you. Thank you. This, was, this is very wholesome. I've, I've realized it's not only professional, this is a very wholesome stream. So, everybody, Antonov Anton 25 has a whole. Oh! Wholesome Honestly, now, why, um, why you keep donating? Zeno donated $10. I mean, thank you. I won't thank shut you. up. No, thank you. Smiley okay. face. Probably the, well, I, I'm like the like the worst streamer like in a financial. Ah! I don't. This is a long one. How am I doing that for rocket? Seventh average rocket donated ten dollars. Uh, whatever. Suggestion. Can you put more engines in the Antonov 225 so we can call it the Conav 222225 BTW? It's my little bro birthday. Can you wish him happy birthday? Cause he watched your channel since 2017. Thanks. That was a uh, that was an interesting one. Should we put more engines to this plane? Probably not because it's. So it's going to break the whole universe at this point. Uh, but yeah, to the bro of, what is it? Uh, the Sav the Rocket, Red Rocket, and a happy birthday. Watching since 2017. So, it's like, the crazy thing is that we're, like, this year, we're celebrating, like, the sixth anniversary of, like, YouTubes. And some of you guys have been here from the beginning. Uh, which is, I don't really know. I mean, is there, like, a way to celebrate? Is there, like, a... What should I do? I mean, the Caribbean vlog maybe was a can can be seen as a bit of a special to to the five year thing because it's funny because like you know even five years ago I started up an infinite fight at taking off from Seba Airport um and now we're here in Caribbean I mean not right now here we're not in Antonov but that's fine um <laughs> things looking up so great <laughs> thank. You. Thank you, Swiss uh, International help. Airlines PTFS donated four pounds and ninety nine pence. Speak Germany, Germany. E e e e e e e e e. Guys, thank you for your support. Thank you, Zafir. Zarif Zafir so, Gaming Zarif oh, donated on. five Swiss francs. Thank you, Zafir. Um, so, shush. This is about professionalism because something I realized last time. Uh, I was streaming and flying this plane. Is how unconvincing the um, the uh, uh, physics are. So, what happens when you turn right or left is you go in quite immediately and properly easily into like this aileron roll, which is like this Antonov is so big, it's so large, it can like it flies like a literal fighter jet. How is that possible? Like, have you ever tried to do this in, like, a 747, A380 time private plane? Like, is th this is not quite convincing, is it? I mean, maybe it's because it's a, it's a you know, a a plane of, uh, of Soviet descent. Is it that? But I don't think this plane can literally maintain its altitude 
um, inverted and maintaining speed. It's literally maintaining flight perfectly. Does this make sense? So, what are we talking about? Yeah, uh, so, yeah. It's, uh, it's a great thing. I really don't know, man. Okay. So, come on, let's maybe try to come in for next uh, for the next airport uh, thing. We're gonna try to land this plane. Thank you, you guys. I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't ah! Zeno! Uh, Zeb oh. Zeno donated $2. Uh, Zebo. Zebo 737 or PMZ G 737. The thing about the Zebo is like, they're, they're, I mean, they. you can tell that they're like, have aged, like in a good way. Like it's a good wine. <laughs> like like a good red wine it has aged and over the years there's been like features that like you could only ever dream of in the um, PMDGs. Like isn't there like even water slides and all? I mean it's not really what you need. Um, but Zebo is better. It's also free. Duh. So that's why I can say. Um, so Zebo has always been awesome on the X-Plane Simulator. Um, so yeah. <clears throat> <clears throat> no, great. I do casual aviation. You guys are crazy. Casual on aviation Please. donated three dollars. Hey, Smith, I have been a long time viewer. Thanks for making us laugh in your streams, and I well, hope one day I have trying, enough money certainly. to buy a SR twenty two Earl. Yeah. Yeah. So the question whether I'm going to buy an SR twenty two. I mean, that's such an expensive plane. You need like a million dollars to to like to buy one. Which like. Gotta do a, bit, a few more streams for that. <laughs> no, it's not. Yeah, it'll be like a dream. Like I, you guys, do you guys know Doug Demuro, uh, the car reviewer who has like this long history of of uh, the Porsche Carrera GT, and he now bought one with his money for like a few, like a million uh, or more uh, dollars, and it's like this wholesome moment that uh, that everyone has always wished him for, like. Like wished him like this big moment of like all right guys we've on the channel we've dreamed so much about the Porsche Carrera GT and now he's got one that's probably gonna sound really random to you if you don't know Dr. Mario but uh, he's definitely like a he's an icon man and he's a legend um so that's I mean I'll also look up to him but like we're talking like big money here so that's not really <laughs> ah! how you guys doing guys stop Pro donating now it's fine donated. thank you five dollars. Warning loud, here's $5 to fund a Lufthansa A350 business class trip to San Diego. I know lots of great spotting places and even an Please. aircraft carrier not, museum. Guys, this is if not you a do funding end up show. flying to San Diego, this is not a funding left show. side to get GR8 city views. Guys, it's not a funding show! Shut up! OMG, <laughs> 7th average rocket donated $10. You're crazy. Another suggestion. Can Please. you add more levels to the A380 and make heights longer and make it oh, nine yeah. levels and will let you right. fly? Hold on. No! Stop! You're doing nerf too fast! Swiss we have done that before. Check the YouTube. PCFS donated four Please pounds stop. and 99 Thank pence. You. You make guys. egg fried rice. C-E-E-E. E-E-E. Hiya! Please. It's fine now. E-E-E. Guys, I... Ah! Hello, Palestine. Bam! Thank you guys so much for your support. Genuinely, this is, this means a lot to me. But you guys are annoying. <laughs> no, uh, no. In all seriousness, you guys are you guys are amazing. I don't deserve this. Um, so thanks. But everybody, it's time to pay back. It's time to do a landing that is a bit proper now. We've got a beautifully running FPS. We've got like this is this is improved by quite a bit. Like comparing it to last stream, this is not that bad. Like lots of people were reporting low FPS with this plane. Um, definitely due to the fact that we're talking about the biggest plane in the world. Um, and that's a lot to handle for this computer, flight engineering panel, all that stuff. We've got cargo. We've got a little train loaded up into our plane. We're just like, isn't that ridiculous? Right? So, um, something that I hate about the Antonov is that it measures speed in kilometers per hour. We're right now at 300 kilometers an hour. A landing. Which is like, how much is that in knots? I, I don't speak kilometers. I speak only knots. Because we're proper professionals here, right? Have I turned on the replay mode? I haven't. Oh uh, God! All right, this is a bit of a multitasking task. Ha! Huh, hold on. Oh, I'm messing this up. I cannot even help. Shush, shush. Shush is fine. Let's land the biggest plane on the world. This guy, it's, it's got good runway performance when it comes to stopping, so people definitely use that now. 
All right, check this out. We've landed the Antonov. It's time now to stop. And we're doing that by going full power in the reverse thrust. Check this out. It's been a successful stop. Oh, you guys, how you doing, man? Zeno donated two dollars. You good, bro? Coughing a lot. Yeah, I know. I've got a little bit of a cold developing in, I think. I'm a bit sick. FSX Air Pilot donated three dollars. Thank you. Swiss, guys. would guys. you ever try older Sims for content? Like older than FSX. Well, yeah, I have. I have done that. Just check it out. Thank you for the suggestion, though. Oh! Donated check this out. It's evil Bro, miss you a lot. Yeah, I miss you too, man. How you doing? How you doing, man? XLO5 donated $5. Wow, that's pretty really funny. Guys. Swiss will have enough money to buy an Antonov in 225 roll at this point. No, not really. It's uh, gonna take a bit more donations than that. Guys, it's fine now. This is not a donation show. It's not about that, okay? Seriously. Shut up! <laughs> no, thanks. Uh, you guys are amazing. Uh, this means the world to me. Let's take off! It is. Why does it fly so unconvincingly have you guys did you guys see that takeoff it doesn't uh, it doesn't really resonate with me i don't i don't trust it it's a bit i'm a bit i'm a bit, I'm a bit skeptical casual aviation donated seven dollars hope this helps you a little to buy a sr22 lol yeah hey yeah hey 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 it definitely does hey 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 thanks Aragon donated five euros shut up shut up you guys it means Eric will and take fiende die in 225 Maria back aha uh, so that's fine. Zeno donated two dollars. You guys, guys uh, donate as much as possible. No! He deserves it. Shut up. It's fine now. It maybe it might be time to continue to the next airport. Think about the car. Like it's so it flies weird. I was this is what I, I was thinking about that now. Um, like it, like the acceleration also. It's it's crazy. Like, this is an unconvincing amount of power. So, um... <clears throat> it's fine. No, in all seriousness, though, you guys are amazing. Um, I'm just... Yeah, I'm not quite sure. I mean, this was a $20 plane. Like, but also, but the turn, like, this plane flies really, really good. Like, it flies. Like, the handling is, like, really good. And I'm not quite sure if that's what you would have in real life. Maybe, I mean, I haven't flown ever. We haven't flown the flight smoother, especially. Haven't flown a proper plane with like this dual um, vertical stabilizer. Maybe, is that that's something I mentioned in the last stream? Like that might give this plane like this incredible amount of civilization. Might just be that. Uh, it's definitely not built like a 747. Right, I mean, this, again, this vertical stabilizer is gonna give this thing some stabilization. Like, look at that. Look at that size of the two. Maybe, maybe it flies like it in real life. Maybe it is. Maybe it is what it is in real life, you know? How you doing, man? Thanks. Hmm. Anyway, maybe come on. Let's go very fast. The, 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 something that is a bit strange definitely is the performance once again. We're, like, very fast in this one. Okay, but maybe it just, just has this kind of performance. I mean, we're loaded in with a train, which is definitely not at the limits of what this thing can do. Right? Weight-wise. So maybe it is not half bad, realistic wise. Maybe it is. Just try airport sim. Yeah, there is a new airport uh, simulator on Steam, which actually looks really nice. Come on, I'm trying to trim this plane out so it just flies straight. Come on, something like that. Uh, yeah, this will do fine. Yeah, I want to check out this one game on Steam, honestly. No, don't crash into a mountain. That would be a bit weird. Come on. No, no, no. Oh. So wait, check this out. Uh, airport cinema, I think it was called. And actually, it does look quite nice. Maybe you guys, should I check it out in the uh, in like a video? Like, look at that. It's like there is like a demo of it now. Oh, you know what? This doesn't look crazy. Maybe I should review it though. There's like a demo once again of like two planes. Is it good? So, um... <clears throat> I don't man. Casual aviation. 
So casual. Casual aviation donated two dollars. Donating to you makes us happy smile. How's that work? Like they're just giving me money. I don't I, like. I said. <laughs> I don't really don't get it. <laughs> Great. Though you know what? I, I wanted. I wanted to do like a up, updated video on the Antonov 2225. Uh, 25. Um. It's like a part two, or maybe like a thing where we test stuff. I want to. I want to look like like a max weight test. What is that we can try? I don't know. I had an Aragon. Aragon donated two euros. There's to shoot mal and Like that. Vienna. All right, come on. My one of my editors is uh, Austrian. Dominic. Shout out to you, Dominic. Top G in the world, man. You, uh, he's on vacation right now, so that's great. <clears throat> How you doing, Tanner? Tanner's once again back. Spry Aviation donated two dollars. Something we Idea. haven't had. Rage compilation on Swiss O O T. No, okay, I'm done making you mad, Lamau. I won't. I won't do like this. I won't promote my raging. Ah, <laughs> oh, great. Ah. Oh. Here. You know, this is once again, we haven't had this in a while. Where, where there's like this phase in the stream of where, where we're just flying to another airport. We're crossing the island, of course. And I'm quite amazed at how big this island is. Like, I didn't, I, like, it's very, I, I always underestimate, like, the Corsica and the Sicilia Island. Check this out. We've even got snow here in the mountains, which is uh, kind of cool. <laughs> um. Overweight Antonov. We should should we try the overweight Antonov thing in a video? Maybe yes. All right, here we go. Three thirty here. We're gaining a bit of altitude here, which is maybe not even needed. So come on. I don't. Jan Void donated two euros. Hey, you Swiss. What's cracking? How's your day? Oh, no, yeah, nice, nice Sunday. You know, I. Sunday is always this feeling like you got to go to work or school tomorrow. So it's like there's always this burden on Sunday. Like this weird feeling of like, okay, it's the end of the weekend. This thing is ending. It's the end card of the weekend. And you always have this feeling in your head. Ah, oh, no, I got to sleep early tomorrow. Or I got to wake up early tomorrow. I got to do my homework today, so. Uh, and stuff like that. So it's always this Sunday mood. Sometimes I would even prefer Thursdays over Sundays. I, I, you guys, you guys understand? Well, can yeah, it's, it all depends. So, why are we so fast, by the way? I am. I don't know. So this, look, check this out. Is this convincing? Is this realistic? Is this what we would call study level realism? Like, why is it able to do this? Why is it a stunt plane? Hmm. So yeah, things looking well. But yeah, I don't know. I had some lunch with my friends and and stuff, and nothing, nothing to be worried about. Everybody, what can we see in front of us? A runway. A runway of an airport. A runway that we're gonna land on. But first of all, we gotta do like one one thing. Hold on. I'm, like we're, we're we're reaching very much close to the end of uh, speed of sound, which is quite funny. Like, how is it able to do this? Like, how are we flying at 500 knots? And how? Can we do a loop? Oh my god! That... I didn't want to do that. Oh! Well, that was technically a loop. And I did that to stop. Because we are a bit fast enough on this approach. That was exactly that went as planned. I... Might have crashed it. Sorry. So, um... Yeah. <clears throat> so, come on. Let's get the landing gear down. Yes. Check this out. Do little do little do do do. Rum dilly dum and we've take this out. We've got the beautiful spoilers coming down. This is a very nicely flying plane. Maybe it is a bit too much flying nicely, but like. Um, 
You know, you know what I mean? Like, you know. How you doing, man? Zeno, my friend. Zeno donated two dollars. Nick, why do you have an iPhone? Android better. Oh, I'm not opening this can of worms. But I've got this theory that iPhone just gives you a bit of a better risk factor. <laughs> no, I'm not. I don't know. It's just something that I've stuck to for a long time. Something you do have to say about Android uh, versus iOS or, or uh, iPhone. It's just the quality of camera on social media within the social media apps, right? You can always, always tell when when you, someone uses an Android on Instagram because the quality of the photos is just not right. It's just the colors are off. The, the cameras are amazing, but it's the software, which I think maybe it is. Maybe I have like a bit of a th theory behind this all. Maybe it, it, uh, Apple sponsors all the all the apps, all the Instagrams, all the Snapchats some, to make the videos on Android look worse. You know what I mean? So that's something that I'm trying to trying to say. Come on, let's maybe try to kind of land now. Jan hey, Boyd donated jump. two euros. Swiss, learn some Estonian. Say, Kax tastes good. Kax, Kax tastes good. Great. White Privilege donated two dollars. Welcome white privilege? back to Swiss 001's channel. Where we make your ears bleed with the most obnoxious voice on the internet. Get ready for non-stop, high-pitched screeching, as Swiss 001 takes you on a journey through the most annoying sounds in aviation history. Thanks for the two dollars. I really don't know if that was a hater. Do, uh, com like I, I <laughs> but like, why would you donate two dollars then? But you're right. You're right. I always am, I always am very loud. It's just kind of my style of talking. I don't know how it developed over the years, how I got like this, like this kind kind of thing. But I don't know. Like I, I try, I sometimes try to like speak slowly, but then I'm just bored editing my own videos. You know, I've got like an attention span of a mm, squirrel. So, <laughs> check this out. We've got a landing here. Everybody, check out the landing. Yes. yes. Give this a try. Yes. Good. That was a landing, everybody. So, we were going to taxi to the end of this runway, so we can uh, continue on to the next airport. <coughs> Looking great. How you doing, Zeno? Once again, you're, you're the most Zeno active donator. $2. Right, Everyone's now. asking if you vape. Um, no, I don't. I had, a, I had a vape lying around last stream here on this desk by, by one of my friends. And uh, because like vaping is like a big thing in Germany, probably it is where you live too. Um, um, and so I kind of used it, but like, the, I, you know, I, I, I regret ha using it. Uh, that's for sure. Because like vaping is like a really, really dumb thing. My, my mother, uh, is actually, <laughs> why am I mentioning this? My mother is actually, she, she was a real cigarette smoker. Um, so I grew up with that, but she's now switched to vaping. And I've seen now what, 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 like, getting addicted to your vape can lead up to. It's really sad. Like, to the point where you're, like, a, a walking locomotive. As in, like, when it, when you really like, start getting addicted to this nicotine and you, 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 you just inhale these chemicals all day. That's just what happens. You sit at your desk, vape. You sit on, in your car, vape. You sit at, at school. You know, you don't even sit there. You just, there's just people, like, like, there's a dedicated bathroom for vaping. In our school, things like that. Um, so I'm sorry if this, if I don't know, maybe <laughs> if this offended anyone. So be, like people are asking me about it, like really, uh, and criticizing me about it. That's that, that's what that was their right. I uh, know vaping is really stupid, stupid chemicals. Some were made in China. I read, I, I don't know. This made me read through how things are made, um, like vapes, and it's 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 like ridiculously like bad for you. Um, so I don't condone it. I, de I would so go against it. Um, don't do it. And 
like there's no point in getting like addicted to it. Like what? What? What is there? The hell. Anyway, that's great. So. A Spider-Man donated five pounds. I don't so spy great to catch your legs with. Spider-Man, Mr. Spider-Man. What do you I call don't. a pregnant flight attendant? Pilot ear. Hue way 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 way. That's fun, me. Pilot hair. Oh, the cliche of of pilots getting on to the flight attendants. Pilot riz. So, time to continue down south to uh, Lima Foxtrot Kilo Foxtrot. <clears throat> uh, and things are looking great. Doodly doo. So much power in this plane. Like, well, I mean, I'm, I'm wondering, like, what's the point of the stream? I mean, like, what we're doing at this point. Um, is we're transporting around a train throughout Corsica. And, like, doing touch and goes. Does this make sense? No. Um, so that's great. <laughs> Like, you know, my videos rarely make sense. That's the point, isn't it? So. Doo -doo -doo. Yes. Check this out. I really am not quite fond of... Thank you, Lars, by the way. I'm really not quite fond of... Of this... Of this flying here. I'm not sure what it means. This... This... This is the fact that this thing can... Like... Whatever. Like, check this out. Barrel roll it. No worries at all. We're not even that fast at this point. <laughs> Maybe something that is giving us a push is the two APUs that are still turned on. They've got to generate a bit of kinetic energy. Just Maybe just a bit of propellant here. Why not? I don't mess up from Switzerland. Maestro, your aviation hub donated two Swiss francs. Do you like the videos of Max 737 iFly? Um... I've never, I've never, I've only heard good things about him. I've never seen a video myself. I'm, I'm sorry. But I've got to be honest, all right? I'm not going to say, oh, I love his videos. I, uh, I don't really watch YouTube, which is a bit ironic, isn't it? <laughs> um, I just look in, I, I read books. That's what I do. So. Play GOFS. I'm not playing GOFS once again. I play like every five months on the channel. Like genuinely I do. You guys know that. And it's uh, it's not been five months since I last played it. So, oh, that's another airport here, isn't it? Check this out. Yes, is that another airport? Yes, we don't even need the map. See something that some every few updates. Microsoft got to have a problem with the route planning. So I've got a route planned here, VFR map. Like I very carefully handpicked airports here for the stream. Okay? Before the stream started. So what's happened now is that the magenta lines between all the airports, the route, is completely gone here on the map. So I'm kind of just blindly flying around, just finding a spot to land this plane. And it, it's, it's really annoying. It just happens. What's up, Jay? Welcome back. Mr. James. Was it James? I think I remember. I definitely remember it being James. Welcome back, chat. So, um. Mm. Yes. Do, 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 do. Check out the Queen of the Skies, as some people say. Oh, no. Hold on. I'll be back with the camera. It's great to be back, isn't it? So, we're got we're looking all right on speed. We've got a bit of a shorter runway now. So, shut up! I know the camera is dead. It's the god of the sky. That's not even that bad. Yeah. Okay, FSX Airport. You are right. FSX You've got a Airport right donated three dollars. Can we see butter? Yes. I hope. Come on now. Swiss needs a new camera. Yeah, that sucks. Again, that's something I've said before on the streams, but like I've got this Nikon camera uh, that I stole from my mom. Actually, I didn't steal it. I I once bought it for her, and she doesn't use it. And it's been sitting in the drawer for years. So, what I did was I took this camera and used it to do like a joystick camera, which is like really cool. 
What a cool of an idea, isn't it? But the thing is, it's got like this 30 minute thing where it just turns off every 30 minutes. And you cannot turn it off. Uh, on. Great. Anyway, come on. Let's let me get the landing gear. Uh, get the landing gear is down. Flaps is down. Spoilers is up. This is not a sh long runway. This is a rather short runway. Then we can do is like try to reduce our speed this way. Here, check this out. So. Mm -hmm. Yes. Just with the most unstable approach is definitely the way to go. Okay. Check this out. So we're going 250 kilometers per hour, which is very helpful. Thank you, Soviet plane. It's great. <clears throat> we need to butter. B butter. We need to butter it, Swiss. We do need to butter it. And I will. Ah, I will try my best to get this plane. Ah, no, not this way. Jesus. <laughs> so the thing is, this is not my fault. Shut up. Thing about this plane is, it measures speed in kilometers per hour on its stupid airspeed indicator. I really don't get why. So I didn't see that I was going like 160 kilometers, like 230 kilometers per hour, which is not enough, by the way, to get lift from this plane. So that's why we crashed. Shut up. You guys are just haters, man. Come on, let's land. Land this plane, man. Mm hmm. It's not even that bad, considering, like, this. Like, like this willingness that I have to land. Check this out. Yes. Ouch, my back. Shut up, Tanner. That was not even that hard of a landing. You guys are just complainages. Is that a word? Like a complainages? Complainage? Complain, complainage? Ready, I'm, I'm a walking dictionary. Oh. Oh, great. We've crashed. Did we crash? Check this out. That wasn't bad. That was not a very big flare, but like this thing is not very known for its butter machineristics. You know? You need a new disc test. My coffee spilled. Shut up. Don't, um, don't hate. Yes. It was, it was, uh, that was a great, great thing. So maybe let's, uh, let's fly to this last damn airport, make it a nice landing here. What is this? Come on, can we give it, can we get a name at least of this airport? Figari! Sud course. Come in, Sud course. No, shut up, stop. I'm now paralyzed by this landing. It was genuinely not hard. That landing was goofy. You are goofy. <laughs> yeah, okay, that was a really poor landing. Like, it's, it's weird now because, like, I'm. Like, most of my airplane's operations is, like, very newbie now at this point. I really don't know how that net downfall has become. So, uh, what a shame. Stay calm. <laughs> that was strange. Ah! God damn it. Oh my god, no, I might, my, so my headphones have unplugged. Hold on. Where's my, oh, I have to plug them back in. Sorry, everybody, welcome back to Professional Operation. I know it says professional in the title, and you can see that here, because I'm so involved with my professionalistic systems. So come on. Yes. This is one of those runways that's very barely enough. That I was genuinely, <laughs> that was as close as you can get to the end of the runway. Yes. That, uh, that genuinely, I mean, that worked, though. We're in the air with a Concord, uh, con and, uh, what am I saying, Concord? Yes. I mean, so something that I was wondering now about was uh, I had a dream about this. We had not, I didn't have a dream about it. Why am I saying it? But something I noticed is that now at this point, we've pretty much got every plane we want for Microsoft. Like we have reached the point where, okay, maybe, maybe there's an A340 that can, 
can be added in. Maybe there is a proper... I mean, the A330 is good, good, good as well. Uh, it's not only down to the exotics. You know, the SR-71 Blackbird. Even though we've got the... the um, what was that again? The, the Tom Cruise Maverick uh, Blackbird. That was maybe a, a, maybe a bit of an addition that was nice. So, we've got... I mean, what, what plane... Oh, okay, it's C-17. Well, there is a C-17. It sucks, though. We've got the A-310. Oh, okay. Something I definitely forgot was the A-350. Uh, maybe a proper 787, because the 787 from Isobo isn't that incredible. We don't have an A-380. Yeah, we don't need an A-3. Okay, you know what? I accept that point, generally, with the A-3. We need an A-3. We do need one, because I can't... I, you know, at this point, I've, I've made up Final my mind about the A380. I feel sorry for it. Just kidding! Cents. I dare you to make a 50 F PM or less. Randy. I definitely will. I will disappoint you in that regard. Honestly, we'll, we will not be able to do that. Remy, don't have the... Shut up! Stop trying to disprove my... My point here. <clears throat> but yeah, generally, we've got like... We've got most planes that we need. We've got most planes that are flying around in the daily skies. Well, even maybe with the exception of the E380 and D, but that, that, that might be just it. We've got CRJ, we've got Embraers. Pretty good Embraers now at this point. We've got uh, 737s, obviously. We've got Jumbo. We don't have the A380, but we have the Antonov. Not a very... That's a rather rare sight these days. <laughs> All right, come on now. So... Let's get the uh, the replay mode on and land the, the Antonov. Because we've got a long runway here that we're now having uh, on our left base. So let's do that. Land and stuff. Let's reduce our altitude and come in for landing. Can try the Embraer uh, 31, 300E. Yeah, the Embraer Phenom jet um, on the channel. Yeah, well... Uh, it's another private jet, which is not, like, the main interest for the channel. I mean, we're all about airliners, I guess. Uh, but, yeah. That's that's probably a good idea. Maybe for a stream. <laughs> Welcome back to private jet 001. Zeno donated Nintendo. $5. I have now started my cardboard Dark Star Simulator. I'll post about yes. it on my channel. What? What is that even? What a goofy approach. Shut up. It's a great approach. It's a wind approach. All right. So... Now it's time to land. Look at this beautiful approach. I'm gonna just keep it on the blue uh, ribbon here on the airspeed indicator, which is like 260 knots or 255. Uh, kilometers, by the way, kilometers an hour, not knots. That would be, like, 255 would be way too fast. Alright. We don't have GPWS call outs either at this point, so. <sighs> oh my god! Oh! I've done the. I've done the Pegasus. I have done the Pegasus. Mm. I've crashed the Antonov. Antonov 25. Which is great success. Check this out. This was not good. There you go. Hit some trees here on our way. Skill issue. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> um, something we've learned about the. I said that's. Something I was wondering about, like the drifting that this plane likes to do. Um, I, let's ignore the trees. So this plane likes to drift a lot. Check this out. We were like all right on the runway here, but then, boom! That was that was kind of like a wind here. That was like deja vu kind of thing, uh, like in a really unrealistic way. Okay, maybe maybe this is one of those planes that you really shouldn't. Like what I did here was properly flare. I wanted to like do like a really nice um, landing here, but this is not a flare. I guess you need to get those dual landing landing gear on the nose here down, I think. Maybe. Reiner should hire you. Maybe I... Maybe my flying is too low for Reiner, which is like, is there a too low? 
Like the lower the better, isn't it? So that's great. Um, I'm gonna go back to sleep and cry. So yeah, guys. Ah! This has been a very fun stream, genuinely. I very much enjoyed spending a little bit of this beautiful Sunday evening with you guys. Um, was it professional, this stream? No. But we had, did we have fun? Or, it's not about the goal. It's not about the finish line. It's about the friends you make along your way. So that's what we can take away with that. Thank you guys so much. You guys have been supporting me way too much on this journey um, here today. And uh, thank you for, for, for flying. I'm going to now do some homework. Which is very fun. I hope you guys do your homework too. Don't vape. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. As always.